Hello beautiful, today we are doing another video in our Genesis chapter mapping workbook as I go through step by step how to chapter map. So today we're going to look at prompt number seven. If you haven't caught the other videos in this series, stop this video, go to the description box and watch all of the videos so you understand this in context. Today, we are applying what we learned about chapter one to our life. So what are the lessons I learned from God or other people? So really no other person is mentioned here other than God gave man the authority over the animals and the earth. Um, what did God teach us? So he spoke it all into existence. He looked on all he had, declared it good. God thought of everything. God the Father, Son, and Spirit were present at creation. So what lessons did I learn? I don't know that I learned a lesson. So what do you do then? Well, nothing. I didn't learn a lesson. I didn't learn anything from that that I feel like from God or the people that would change me. Okay? So things I realized I need to change in my own life, what would I put here? Um, let's see. All right, I know one that was very convicting, James 3, 9. It says, with the tongue we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in God's likeness. So this is something I want to change. So I'm going to put based on James 3, 9. Um... And this is from verse 26. I know that because I wrote it down here. Verse 26. Based on James 3, 9, I need to look at others as a beautiful creation by God and not be critical or gossipy. Is gossipy a word? I don't know, but that's something I want to change, right? That's something I want to change. So God created Im Im humans in his own image. So creation. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that with my creation color. Now, creation is a noun, and create is a verb, so it kind of goes back to that, what do I do, what do I do? Well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do that, okay? The next one, let me see. Let me just look through here and see if there's anything else. Um, I think that's it, honestly. You may not find one in everything. However, you will find something here. What can I praise God for based on what I learned? So you're going to want to go through this. This prompt number two is going to be incredibly helpful for this. But you're going to want to go through this. You're going to want to pray and let the Spirit guide you and lead you. And you are going to write out a prayer. So I would address it, Heavenly Father God or something similar, comma, I praise you because. So I'm not gonna do this on video because I really wanna put some thought into it, um, but I will come back on and I will read to you what I wrote. Okay, here's what I wrote. Lord God, I praise you, the creator of all. You formed the heavens and the earth from nothing, Lord. You created time when there was no time. You created light and day and darkness and night. You formed and fashioned and established it all through your words alone. You, Elohim, are a triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. 
No one should ever question that unity. What a beautiful way to begin your story for us, establishing right away who you are and what you have done. You created this all for your glory. With the breath of your mouth, you spoke each thing into existence. Not only was it perfect and good, but you declared all that you created as very good. Thank you that you give us a small peek into how you view creation. Your your thoughts of oh you thought of everything lord in jesus name amen so there's no right or wrong way to do this you go back through ask the holy spirit to help you look at the different things that god did okay look at the different things that you learned look definitely at the cross reference verses and use those in your prayer okay you can be creative in this you don't have to be creative in this the important thing is that you praise god for what you learned about him i hope that this chapter mapping series has been a wonderful gift to you um keep it simple you don't have to get as detailed as i did okay um, we may do another chapter very simply. It's hard for me to do it too simply because I love to dig deep. I want to know it all, right? And so um, it, it may be hard for me to do that, but we, we may do it. I may also be doing a live chapter mapping workshop, or I may instead be doing a chapter mapping workshop. So kind of let me know in the comments where your thoughts are with the chapter mapping process, what you think of it, um, if you think you'll use it, um, if you do get together with a group, um, you're going to want to go through and talk about the things that you learned. So you would sit down together, you would get your books out, and you would talk about the words and the comparisons. You would talk about the cross-reference verses and see which ones they found and which ones you found. You would talk about your fun facts. This is really cool because you most likely will have found different things. Sorry, I'm having all sorts of trouble with my headphones. Most likely found different things, so that's kind of fun. And then you will talk about how you're gonna live this out. And then at the end, you could each read your prayer if you wanted to, and that would be a great way to end the group. Now, if you have a small group, if you have a large group, you may just wanna ask and see if anyone wants to share part of their prayer or all of their prayer. Okay, that is it. You are beautiful. God loves you. And I hope that this chapter mapping process is a huge blessing to your time in God's word. I will see you soon. Bye.